saying things people already know out loud is tight. Avada Kedavra. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey, if you don't stop, I will contact the usher. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI, Bruce Do, my dad's car. I can't remember the name of the guy, there's someone in the comments. Zane X, spelled with a seven. He's been begging me to do this video. Zane, this one is for you. So my dad had like, he's from like England. So the, the cars that he had were kind of wild. The first interesting car I remember him owning was a, um, like a bright green Ford Escort panel van with like black carpeted back. It was like a shagging wagon. Like he was clearly planning on getting laid in the back of that fucking thing. And my mum was just like, this only has two seats. Fucking get rid of it. <laughs> so he had to get rid of it. Then years later, after the divorce, <laughs> I don't know if the car had anything to do with that. He ended up getting a Morris Minor, but it was in this like ugly, like, uh, tra traffic light green color. It was a cute little car, don't get me wrong, but that green was, uh, I don't know, it looked like a thick shake. It was very weird. My stepdad, on the other hand, he's a massive car guy. He loves it. He had a uh, 924 Porsche. He had this like beautiful Valiant with like flames on it. He had like a mechanic shop. He used to like do his own cars. He had a 64 Dodge Phoenix for a while, 55 DeSoto, uh, uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. He's absolutely car mad. So I don't know how that stacks up to Bruce Dew's dad's car, but we're gonna find out. Zane, get ready, mate. We're about to do it. Let's go. All right, now, we didn't have a lot of money when I was growing up, which meant we had some pretty shitty family vehicles when I was a kid. Oh, he's got shit cars. I mean, they looked like cars that would be ran over by a monster truck shitty. We had cars <laughs> with broken windshields. They'd have more rust on them than the Titanic because my dad loved cheap cars. The cheaper, the better, no matter how shitty they are. I'd be sitting there in the passenger seat. Uh, dad, why is our car on fire? Ah, oh, it does that from time to time. It's just a little oil, it's fine. It's what I was used to as a kid. I remember riding in one of my friends' parents' car. My mind was blown. I was like, whoa, you guys have air conditioning? What are you guys from the future? <laughs> but of all the shitty cars that we had, they were nothing compared to my dad's 1984 Subaru hatchback. I called oh. it the rusty turd because, uh, well, because it looked like it came from somebody's asshole. That's why. First time I seen this thing, I remember thinking, holy hell, did my dad build his own car? What, did he take the fucking lawnmower apart and make this thing in the garage? <laughs> this thing was no Rolls Royce, let me tell you. It was a stick shift, but it had no third gear. But my my dad didn't care. Third gear? Who the fuck needs third gear? Uh, dad, are we even allowed to drive this thing on the road? I don't know. But what? <laughs> How do you not have one gear? And it's it's not like it's there's no fifth or fourth. There's no third gear? Pretty sure that's a... I guess it's not. Is it? <laughs> do you need third gear? Peter, let me know. <laughs> We're gonna find out, goddammit. We'd be driving down the road, people would be staring at us. Mommy, look! That man's driving a car made out of garbage. Now, another thing about this car was that the passenger door liked to randomly open while you're driving down the road. So you'd be sitting there trying to roll down your <laughs> window, all of a sudden, your ass goes tumbling down the highway. <laughs> so my dad fixed it by keeping it held shut with a bungee cord. There we go, we just knew, no problem. I'd be sitting there nervous as hell. Uh, how many seatbelts do we got in this car? I don't think I have enough seatbelts. Heck. Bruce, do what was your dad into? Was was gambling his thing? Was it alcohol? Drugs? Because why are you bungee roping a door shut? Please tell me. I have so many questions. That thing didn't even have turn signals that work. Turn signals? Who the fuck needs turn signals? I'll just yell out my window if I have to. Hey, asshole, I'm gonna turn left up here. Can you hear me? My friends were totally afraid of our car. They'd hop in the back seat wearing helmets and shit. Um, is your car gonna blow up? Eh, probably not, but uh, have your mom sign this permission slip just in case. My dad paid $100 for this car, a hundred bucks. Uh, dad, I don't think wow. we should drive anything that costs less than a washing machine, but he loved it. He'd brag about it to his friends and shit. Yep, bought this thing for a hundred bucks. It's lasted me two years. That's like a four dollar a month car payment. Now, the worst thing about this car was that the starter was broken. So that meant if we wanted to go somewhere, we'd have to push the car to get going oh, and then man. jump in, pop the clutch, start the engine. How? With the, the door? 
be out there pushing this car made out of garbage like some kind of shitty two-man bobsled team. My friends would be watching this from the sidewalk. What kind of weird circus shit is this? It was pretty goddamn embarrassing to say the least. We'd be at the grocery store, people would be staring at us and shit. Oh my god, I hope they're pushing that thing off a cliff. But after two years, that Subaru had enough. The transmission was destroyed and my dad had to tie it to a tree and put it down. Well, Rusty Turd, your time is up. Time to die. And that was the end of it. But there was good news after all that. My dad scrapped that car and got even more money than he paid for it. Uh, yeah, we're just giving you this money so we don't have to see that pile of shit on the road anymore. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, uh, yeah, Brewster, I feel for you. I guess I was pretty fortunate. My family's always had pretty decent cars. Although, if, if you're Australian, I don't know if they had this model car like overseas, the XE Falcon. Hit the like button if you've ever had an XE Falcon and one of the door handles broke and it was just like this flimsy thing that would just be limp and it wouldn't actually trigger any of the mechanism because I know about three or four people that had that model car and all of them had broken door handles. But that was a hell of a lot of fun. I love these stories about Bruce Jews growing up. That's what I can't relate to. Uh, what was it? Uh, my mate's dad had a Datsun 120Y, which is a hell of a shitty car. And I remember that he had that for a long, long, long time. That had just some copious amounts of kilometers like on the Speedo. And if I told you it was orange in color, would you believe me? Of course you fucking would. It's a Datsun 120Y. What other color is it gonna be? But thanks for checking this one out, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. I've been checking out more movies lately, Disney movies. I just did Glass Onion, which was a hell of a lot of fun. And as always, Zanex, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.